Taki Eng. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I'm a geek. Um, so I'll start off by asking a question. How, how many of you have heard of this term, real time web? Show of hand? Not too many. Well, basically, what you can do today is you could find out where your friends are eating or where they're checked in for a hotel. Pretty cool stuff, huh? But I think the real time web can be a lot more useful for an inside complex work environment like a hospital, where there are many interactions the way I see it that are happening from room to room all the time. A patient being moved from one room to another, interacting with pa uh, doctors, nurses, and with all kinds of new gadgets and equipment and devices generating data. Nobody can, with all the resource problems that we have around the country, jot down all this information and put them into the EMR. So how can we do that in a seamless background ambient way where we can collect these data as the people and the devices and the processes are moving around the hospital is what I am curious about. Can we generate future hospitals where it's a little more real time? So I can answer questions like where someone is right now in the hospital, who they're working with, what kind of data and things they're working on. So imagine we can create a stream for every entity in the hospital. A doctor can have a stream of all the activities that he's been gone through throughout the day. Same thing for the patient and the devices. What you can have if you combine all of these and allow them to talk to each other is this record that they can go about their businesses without worrying too much about the manual stuff, but think about how to do healthcare in a better way. And with that, as a hospital, we can think about how we can learn from the data on a short-term basis on What's going wrong? Why is something not being efficient? Can we reallocate resources on the fly? And also, we can adapt to the people in a futuristic vision where you can see how settings in a patient's room changes as people go into uh, a room. You know, what they like from the previous day to now, what they like, or surgeons' settings for their equipment and stuff like that. So I don't know the answer to what a real-time hospital may look like in 10 years yet, but one design we have been trying at the Media Lab, which I've been spending some time this last year to work on, is how do you solve these and create these environments for new buildings? Um, and what we have done is not hospital-specific, but from a technology standpoint, share a lot of the stuff that I believe in. So what we've done for the new building at the Media Lab is to set up this smart location-based network. Basically, we allow people to be able to go to any one of the 30 partitioned areas and be able to collaborate, figure out what things are around them, what people are around them, what's, what's interesting. And we recognize the people by, right now, the version is attaching them with an RFID tag. You can imagine that being an iPhone or iPad in the future. But the key thing is you go out and you are able to really explore and be able to record what you are doing at that time. This graphic doesn't show a hospital-specific design, but you can see the top stuff are the things that are interesting or of operational at the nearby. So it can be equipment in the room. It can be data that's being generated. And I'm logged in here with other people, like maybe a nurse or other people that I'm working with. And we can keep this information, customize them, put a note on it, and for that instance of interaction, we have them on the record. And multiply that, if we look through what's going on throughout the day, then you can generate different kinds of visualizations. Like in this simple example where you can see what the patient is up about. It's like the dashboard about that person. Similarly for a machine or maybe for a nurse, if you take that higher up and aggregate all this data, now you can create new visualizations about what's going on in a department or even the whole hospital, or maybe even multiple hospitals about what's going on. I believe these data could be useful for a lot of the stuff we've heard in the past two days. Design thinking, you know, how we can get some of these data and use that as part of the process of redesign. Going to a ER room in this example of, you know, how many people are waiting for how long and what's going on. 
Um, and last but not least, imagine, say, a nurse uh, can now collaborate with their colleagues much more effectively. Instead of spending 30 minutes debriefing what a patient uh, that she's about to hand off to a colleague has been through, I can maybe cut that time in half or even more because I got this thing with me. We walk up to a screen, exchange it on the spot, and here you go. The other person can go off and start taking care of that patient rather than debriefing. So the problem for in the future, we obviously, you know, we have to, you know, the, the problem for hospital design in this case is the ever-increasing number of equipment and other gadgets that we have to deal with in the future. We talk about mobile for a long, uh, quite frequently in the past few days, but, you know, how do you bring that into the system when people have data in the future and apps that may be useful for, for the interactions? So I don't know what it would look like, but I hope that this will stimulate some of us to think about what it might mean or if it's really useful for a real-time hospital. And I'm quite hopeful that we might get there in a 10 years or 10, 20 years time frame. Thank you. Yes. Oops. Thank you.